Hello and what's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you some settings that can further enhance your gaming experience of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra while also saving you some battery life. So let's get started. First go to settings, scroll down and go digital wheel ping and parental controls, scroll down and go to focus mode and by default here you see there are some mode and routines set by Samsung such as leave, theater, driving, etc. And I created mine called gaming mode, I'll show you now how it's done. Click on the add mode, choose the name, gaming, and gaming one, and change the color icon, you can also change the icon as well, click on done, and in here we can restrict app usage, so if I enable this option, by default there are some apps that are unrestricted, such as the clock, the galaxy wearable, etc the messages even the phone calls so you can still receive phone calls even while playing and you can't also disable those apps you can't restrict them like hazards so here i go to the apps that i want to have while playing like asphalt genshin impact game launcher and game plugins and the good guardians and let's scroll down a bit to find the rts game so those games and apps that i need while playing Click on done. So now that we are done with the app usage restriction, we can go to change settings. Here you can find additional settings that you can also configure as well. So I'll change the power saving to be off. And also you can change the media volume. For example, if you have connected a wired headphones or a Bluetooth audio device, you can change the volume automatically when once you activate the gaming mode. So I can make the volume for example to be 62 63 and click on um, add action there are also another actions as well go to display brightness if i want the uh, brightness to be on 60 for example while playing so now that i'm done i can click on done so in total i have the power saving off the media volume the brightness and i also restricted those apps Additionally, you can activate the mode automatically once you launch an app such as, for example, the gaming launcher. If I launch the gaming launcher, it would load automatically. Or if I connect the Bluetooth device, time period, place, condition, etc. And for now, I just keep it to be toggled manually. Uh, so now that we are done from creating this mode, I can go back here. And now I'll show you the other settings. So go to Galaxy Store and search for game plugins once you download the game plugins open it and in this game plugins you find some pl plugins that are useful such as the perf z i use it for tracking the frame of fps the cpu the gpu temperature etc and uh, you can also change the temperature unit from celsius to fahrenheit so that's useful and uh, also you can go to game booster plus uh, click on the Genshin Impact, click on uh, here you can find different modes such as the auto mode, the battery saving, the balance, the max FPS, the high quality and I choose to have the custom so I can make sure that it's focused on performance and graphics quality to 100 and the max FPS to max and to activate the frame booster which gives you a smoother transitions uh, in game. So. Go back from this one and i also forgot to show you that once you click on this uh, menu you, if you click on the st statistics you can see that uh, the stats of the battery use uh, fps during gaming sessions so let's go back from this one so now that we are done from game booster plus we can go to game launcher and go to game booster and uh, from here scroll down and go to labs Activate the uh, alternate game performance management which makes your phone push itself harder even if the temperature is rising so in demanding games such as Genshin Impact it would rise the temperature by a bit however it won't drop the FPS as much as usually it does when this uh, setting is off so go back from this one and now go to Galaxy Store again and make sure that you have the Good Guardian software installed 
So once you have installed Good Guardians, go to Thermal Guardian and make sure that the Thermal Threshold slider is set to the maximum, which means Thermal Threshold will be increased to Celsius from default. So the phone won't Thermal Throttle as it normally does. So go from this one, activate the game mode. If you want to have this icon, go to the top menu and click on edit buttons. Here you find the modes, just put it wherever you want. And here I can just go to modes, click on gaming mode. So now all the settings that I have made are activated, like the brightness, the volume, etc. And even all apps are restricted now, so I can't access them. So except for the game launcher, if I go now to Genshin Impact, so as you can see here, you can see the FPS. The FPS, which, which is 60, tap it again. So, once it has loaded, I'll show you another thing that I have. And in the graphics menu, I have set to custom and all the renders resolution to high, 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 highest, FPS to 60, motion blur to extreme, bloom to on, anti aliasing to TAA and the crowd density to high so it's on the highest settings possible and you can see we have solid 60 fps So after playing 14 minutes, the temperature now is 41. And if I bring the thermal scanner, it's around 39 degrees in the surface and the Fahrenheit 103. And if I flip the phone, yeah, it's 104 by 40. So yeah, the temperature is rising a bit However, we did not lose any kind of performance, so it's still 60 FPS solid, no FPS drop so far, which is surprisingly good, I guess, even if it's getting a bit warm, but we still have the same performance as we did when we launched the game. So for that, I'm preparing another video to be released very soon about trying cooling this phone in different methods in the market, like some stuff that I found uh, that could reduce the temperature, like uh, some uh, case and uh, by Swiegen and uh, another cooling fan that I'll be trying very soon and show you the results. So with that being said, I hope you found this video to be useful and please like and subscribe to my channel and um, stay tuned for more videos of this kind and see you on the next one.